This is Washington Week. Funding is provided by... <laughs> the civil authorities have issued a civil emergency message for El Paso PX, beginning at 6 p.m. and ending at 7 p.m. Traveled outside of El Paso, CD1 is one of cruises. Monitor for flu-like symptoms 14 days upon return. Social distancing is not isolation. Call slash text family and friends. Ensure they're okay. No gatherings 10 plus people. Keep a distance of 6 feet from others. Stay home as much as you can. For info call 211, option 6 or extra.org. Vibrate a regime to manage a fever at the El Paso, CD1 Resort Las Cruces. Monitorious in the most deep of flu on 14 dials of Patia de Rebrisar. Distant chain the until social notice confidentiento. Log slash mesa family y amigos, with these secure tonos as to being. No awkward watching your days 10 plus purses. Mana distant chatea churros, minimum 6 pies. Lava L211 odd co 6 ofstrumpcom for mods and from the on. response is where we begin tonight. That is where the action is in Washington with a $1 trillion economic rescue plan under consideration. Joining us tonight at this difficult time are four reporters who have worked hard all week at the White House and at the Capitol and from home like many of you. Like you, they are doing their best to keep reporting and asking the questions that must be asked of people in power. Nancy Cordes, Chief Congressional Correspondent for CBS News, who joins us from Capitol Hill. Jake Sherman, Senior Writer at Politico and Co-Editor of Playbook. Eamon Javers, Washington Correspondent for CNBC. And here at the table is Jamise Alcindor, White House Correspondent for the PBS NewsHour. Nancy, we begin with you. You're covering the Senate negotiations about this trillion dollar package. Where do those talks stand at this hour? Well, we saw Leader Schumer and Leader McConnell, the Democratic and Republican leaders in the Senate a short time ago, and they said, Bob, that they are making good progress, but they don't think that they are going to make that self-imposed deadline deadline of working out all the, the details tonight. More likely, this will spill over into tomorrow. That does still enable them to possibly be on track to vote on this very massive economic package on Monday. The sticking point, Schumer said, has to do with this Marshall Plan for hospitals, as Democrats call it, making sure that hospitals around the country have the protective gear they need. He said that the two sides are making great progress on that front. The other sticking point, state stabilization funds making sure that states who essentially run out of revenue because of this crisis have a backup. And that's a debate because some Republicans will argue they should have had a rainy day fund. Some Democrats are arguing they could never have foreseen this. So the question is, should they get more funds? How large should those packages be? Jake, you track Speaker Nancy Pelosi so closely. If Leader McConnell and Senator Schumer come together on an agreement in the next 24 to 48 hours, will House Democrats move to quickly pass that legislation? 